What is up, YouTube? Brandon here. Today we're going to be going over how I scored a 240 uh, single thread score in Simage R15. So first step, you're going to go down to Start Menu, Search MS Config. Oops, I know how to type. There we go. You're going to go to Services, and you're going to disable all. Apply, and then restart. Upon restart, we're going to enter the BIOS. So this is running on a Z390 Dart with a 9900K in our setup. So we kind of already have a um, basic overclock set. So we're going to disable all the cores except two, and we're going to disable hyperthreading. So we start in the uh, advanced CPU. So we're going to uh, disable C states. We're going to disable hyperthreading. Uh, let's see, active processor cores, we're going to set that to two. And um, everything else there is good. Let's go back. Okay, graphics, that's good. Uh, fine, fine. Power main leave alone, onboard devices. So I'm going to disable all the uh, onboard devices. So Intel in, Realtek, all that, disable. I'll leave that enabled. USB, uh, we'll leave those alone. I, I tried to disable them, all the ones I wasn't using, but I didn't see any change to my numbers, so we'll leave those alone. Uh, SATA configuration, we're going to disable all the SATAs. Uh, I run my boot off of an NVMe, so you'd want to leave a SATA active. All right, so that's good. So memory, let's make sure everything's good there. Everything's memory overclock's fine. Okay, here we are. So we're going to set uh, core one to uh, 55, and we're going to set core 2 to 54. We'll leave ring alone, set AVX to 0, set voltage to 1.4, um, and everything else is good. So these are the settings I used to get a 240 previously, uh, multiple times, so we're going to try it and see if we can repeat it. It's a little bit cooler today, uh, by about 10 degrees ambient, so hopefully uh can a little bit uh, better score. Okay, so now we're back in Windows, everything's shut off, um, all our services are off, so we're using as little... Uh, resources possible. Next, you're going to open Task Manager. Um, actually, sorry, one more thing. You got to open, uh, where is it? Cinebench R15 first. So open Cinebench R15. Then you're going to turn off this Explorer window. You want everything to be disabled or not, you know, not running. Um, so yeah, so you can see my current record for single thread is 240. I was using two cores. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to use the affinity and priority settings in the Task Manager to set every task we can that's running to the secondary core, the one running at 5.4 gigahertz, and then we're going to set Cinebench to just run on the first core, which is running at 5.5 gigahertz, and we are going to set that priority to real time. So let's minimize this for a moment. Open the task manager. You're going to go to uh, details, and here's all your tasks. I like to just organize my memory, but it doesn't matter. So with Cinebench, you're going to uh, right click, and then you're going to set the priority to real time or high. I haven't seen much of a difference or any difference in score. And then the affinity, we're going to set to uh, CPU zero, which is our core that's running at 5.5 gigahertz. And we're going to take it off CPU one. That way it will only run on the first core. All right. Now you're going to go down the rest, the entire rest of the list, and you're going to change all of these that you can. You're going to set their affinity and you're going to disable it on core zero and leave it on core one. So then you're only allowing the first core to use Cinebench and you're forcing all the other tasks to just run on the second core. So a few of the tasks you can't change, uh, like this one right here, uh, but I just go down the list and every single one I set the affinity off of CPU zero if I can. So I'm going to do all that and then uh, we'll run the benchmark. Okay, so we're all done with that. So we're pretty much ready to go. We're going to do one run and then we're going to do an experiment. So the first run, um, so we open Cinebench. Now there's a bunch of little tricks that you can try to up your score. One of the tricks is to put the render off the screen and just leave you know as little as possible visible, which will uh, allegedly help you boost points. I didn't find that it helped me score higher, but it did seem to improve my score consistency. So I went from scoring a range between like 236 and 240, just scoring 240 over and over. So we'll continue that. We'll put it down over here. This is as little visible as possible. So as soon as you hit run, oh, let's make sure our settings are correct. So file, preferences. So yeah, so we're running on custom number of threads. One, that's what we want. Okay, so our record's 240. So let's bring this down over here. I tried turning off the monitor and unplugging the monitor and doing various things, and I didn't see any improvement. So we'll run it, and don't move the mouse. As soon as you hit run, you just stay completely still. Don't move anything. And we're running. So I don't like to have anything open, but we can monitor the temperatures of the core by looking up at the LED there. So it's a little hard to see because of the focus, but the onboard LED is showing about 69, 70 degrees while it's running. So yeah, while it's running, uh, this build is, uh, so it's running on a Z390 Dark um, hard drive. I'm using a two terabyte Samsung, uh, I think it's a 970 Evo Plus uh, NVMe. And then I have two SATA SSDs. One is just a bulk storage and one is partitioned um, for Windows XP and Windows 7. Um, I'm running a 2080 Ti. This is the MSI Seahawk edition. Um, I'm running a 9900K. It's been delitted with liquid metal and I'm running a direct die frame. Uh, RAM is a two times 16 gigabyte G-Skill 4000 megahertz CL19 uh, kit, a royal kit. Um, 
I have an old, uh, I actually have a Blu-ray drive here, which is nice. Helped me install uh, Windows 7 much easier. Um, cooling system is mostly EK. I have a 240 by, I think it's 40 millimeter radiator in the front and then a 240 by 30 radiator millimeter in the top. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the system. Bam, there we are, 240. So the consistency has gotten really, really good by doing those exact settings. I can just do 240 over and over and over, but I can't score higher. So there's one more trick I haven't tried. We're gonna actually try shutting off Explorer uh, and see how that works. I don't even know. Someone suggested this, so let's try it. In uh, task, yes. All right, so we're gonna try running Cinebench with Explorer disabled and see if we can get a little bit higher score. <laughs> oh my, all right, so let's move this bad boy over. So we just scored 240. All right, there we go. And uh, we'll try it again. Oh, hell yeah. 241, baby. All right. Sweet. So it looks like the, the trick to break 241 is to turn off Explorer. Oh my, all right. Well, let's uh, get that going again. So run new task, explorer.exe. And we're back, all right. So that's how you score. Uh, that's how you break your 240 uh, single thread score in R15. I don't, there's no possible way I can get higher than this. I don't think uh, on ambient unless I can get more frequency and I cannot get any more frequency. If I go to 5.6 gigahertz on any core, it just doesn't even boot into Windows. So yeah, it's been fun playing with this, but I think 241 is the highest uh, single thread I'll ever be able to get out of this uh, 900K in the system. So anyways, thanks for watching.